Okay. I'm married. I've been married now for two years. I've been with my wife now for a total of five. You know, marriage is great, but you know what? One thing I miss the most is just fucking around. I love fucking around. I love fucking around and I love doing a lot of drugs. And being with my wife, I can't do any of that shit. I can't fuck. And I can't do drugs. And I love fucking strippers. Strippers are the best bitches to fuck. They really are. Any man that's fucked a stripper knows that is the best fucking bitch to fuck. She really is. And you know what's great about fucking her? You get her fucking drugs. Cocaine in particular. I love cocaine. Fucking amazing, okay? Get this shit on the cheap when you're fucking her. Problem with fucking a stripper is is that everyone else is fucking the stripper. Even when you're dating that bitch. That's the best woman to date if you don't mind other dudes fucking her behind your fucking back. At all. So you know what, she always gets drugs on the cheap too. Like fucking cocaine, cheap as fuck. Eight ball, hundred dollars, easy. Great. All right, I think the word on the street is that if a stripper goes ahead and sucks a dude's dick, you know, she gets that brick in her mouth, she gets a piece of that brick for free. You know, I might be wrong. Maybe not. You know, but uh, the worst part about being with a stripper, the absolute worst, you never know when she's going to do something fucking stripper-ish, I guess. You go, you can go to like a public place, she'll go ahead and start giving some random dude a fucking lap dance. Go ahead and some dude just walk right by her, just go ahead and suck his dick real quick. Just fucking looking around like, holy fuck. She's going to fuck with everybody. She'll go to fucking McDonald's. Go up to the register and be like, yeah, I'll take like a number one. Yeah, number one for sure. Guy's back to like, okay, ma'am, that'll be five dollars. She opens up her purse. She's like, well, shit, I only have four. Well, uh, I'm sure there's some way that we can go ahead and fucking handle this, you know? Do you like that, daddy, huh? Do you like that? Oh and he's God. sitting here just getting his fucking dick sucked in the middle of fucking McDonald's. He's like, ma'am, we only accept cash or credit. But, uh, you might not get your fucking Big Mac, but you ain't gotta stop. You know, so, that's being with a stripper. It's not too bad, but it's not that great. But I can't, I can't fuck around anymore. I got my wife right down there. That's the first time she's actually been on her fucking knees. Probably about three months or so. So uh, I'm going to just let this last as long as I want. Just, I'm just going to stand right here and just watch her. That's, that's nice. I'm, I'm gonna, that's for my spank bank later. I'm going to beat the fuck out of myself later on. You know, I'll be putting that on Instagram. But, uh... Now we have a son, he's six months. He's a beautiful little boy. God, being a parent fucking sucks. <laughs> you know, they always tell you like the advice, like the stupid fucking advice, like, hey, you're gonna be tired, you're never gonna fucking sleep, spend all your fucking money, you'll never be intimate with your wife again, or your husband, you know, whichever you are. You know, it's just rough, but my one friend Randy told me like the best advice ever that I'll never forget, and that is baby dicks. I swear to God, nothing is weirder than changing your son and just seeing a rock hard baby cock just looking right back at you. And you don't know how to fucking approach it. And you just, huh. Okay, so you're wiping it up, you know, cleaning it. And he's just fucking smiling and giggling. <laughs> Why wouldn't he be fucking smiling? He's getting a free wiping tuck. I had to pay for that shit fucking 10 years ago to go ahead and get my fucking shit yanked. And this little motherfucker's getting it for fucking free. Fuck that. But I'm gonna fuck with him whenever he gets older. He'll be about four or five years old. You know, I'll be you know, hopefully, you know, still alive after I don't kill my fucking self by then. But, um, I'm gonna go ahead and hop out of the shower, go ahead and get, like, really nice and chubbed up, you know, like, smack it a little bit, get it, like, you know, bigger than usual. Walk by him all nice and, you know, nonchalantly, like, oh, you're playing Xbox? Just, you know, like, strut that daddy cock in front of him. And he's gonna be like, holy shit! Motherfucker, that's a little bit bigger than mine. So, um, and it's gonna 
like fuck him up for the rest of his life. So like that dude has a bigger dick than me. And as I get older, I'm pretty sure it's still getting bigger. Why not? You know, so I'm gonna fuck him up. I am. I'm gonna ruin him. And as a parent, that's your job <laughs> to ruin your kids for your own benefit. And I learned that early. And I'm gonna enjoy the fuck out of it. You guys have a good night. Woo!